do a cooking video um, I'm going to make a pasta with a white sauce with ham potatoes and peas in it so hopefully it goes well um, we're still on lockdown I don't know when this video will be posted but this video is filmed during lockdown at home so I have to make do with what we have in the house that we bought before lockdown first I need to tie up my hair because I cannot cook with loose hair for own personal reasons and we don't want my hair to fall into the food and I can't I don't like working with loose hair quite honestly and then we're gonna get I think we're gonna peel the potatoes first and get those on the boil and then do the spaghetti I'm going to lay out some newspaper so that when I peel onto the, the newspaper it's easier to clean up. And we need some potatoes. I'm not going to do too many because the potatoes is not a main part of the food. I think I'm going to do six. or carpal tunnel or tennis elbow whatever you want to call it so if i'm holding it like this my wrist here and this arm starts to hurt very badly but so this is my way of peeling so let's peel this last potato and then we're going to chop it up into like little cubes so what i want is i want it to be in cubes in the pasta i'm, I'm not going to make it like a mash or anything special but we'll see if it works out that way Hello. Okay, potatoes are done. I'm just going to throw away peels. We do them a good wrap. Peels clean. I need my chopping board. Got my chopping board. I forgot about something very important. I need a pot. All the pots are on the drying rack because just and I did like a whole bunch of dishes yesterday. Hi. Hi. Just gonna use this little one because it's just gonna be a few potatoes and I'm she chopping with my hand. Too small. No here. Cold cut. And I need some water. Water, water, water. Where's the jug? We're going to put some water and a sprinkle of salt. I've got this salt in the water. And then, and then while I'm chopping, I'm going to put the potatoes in the water and then we'll bring them to boil. So just remember, this, just a quick little disclaimer, I am in no way a professional, shape or form. And so, yeah, um, you are more than welcome to try this recipe because A, I'm doing it for the first time and it'd be nice if someone else lets me know how theirs works out. So if you do try this recipe, let me know in the comments and that would be great. 
this is kind of the ideal size I want the cubes to be but I mean just any way works I think these I'm gonna make smaller I think I made too many potatoes, but okay. And my potatoes are on this medium-sized pot plate. I've got it on a high heat, six, and once it starts boiling, and then I will let it bring come come to the boil, and then I will keep an eye on it until they're nice and soft. Get. Okay. Gammon ham. Well, it's canned gammon. Ham. Canned gam. Canned gam. Yeah. I'm going to stop talking. I'm going to um, get this out of the tin and chop it up into about the same sized cubes that I did with the potatoes. Luffy! Can you come help? Can you so kindly open this tin? Must I get that stocky off for you? Hi, love you. We have some canned gammon. It's oily and I don't want it to leak everywhere. Would I say oily? I don't know. Okay, we've got our ham ready and let's try and cube this. I think I'm gonna slice it this way. Okay, so I've they, it's coming to a boil slowly. I've just given them a stir so they don't stick to the bottom, but they're still pretty hard. My ham is chopped. Do you want to, you know where my laptop desk is? It's fine, don't worry about it. I'm not going to try and make a big hassle out of it now. Okay, so now the potatoes are actually boiling. Good potatoes. I need a pan. Okay, I just put the extractor fan on, so I hope you can get me over the extractor fan. I hate the fan, but anyway. Yeah, 
this is what I want the browning I like that color so it's working now I just have to see but this is breaking but it's looking good my potatoes are doing well this needs to boil I need this plate to do that but I just want to pan fry this first and then I'll switch it over big plate for the spaghetti because it's taking its sweet time and I shouldn't have actually put this in here I should have left it to boil first like I said not a professional but I should have taken this off oh, and now I need this to boil boil and I've done the spaghetti I still need to do the peas but that's okay too okay this is the white sauce I'm using very yummy and the ingredients on the back I've doubled it because one ingredient like the recipe for one mixture isn't enough normally so I've doubled what's on the back So I've got my milk and my butter in the bowl and we're going to pour it into the pot. It's sizzled. Oh, that's hot. I don't want to put that there. I know this lighting is horrible at the moment because the sun is behind me. In here, I have water and the powder that's required for the white sauce. And we're going to whisk it. So I'm going to make it like pasty. I have this mini little whisk and I love it. So we're just going to whisk this until it's got no lumps while we wait for the milk and the butter to come to the boil. And then I'm also going to do the peas quickly watch the butter and let me know when it starts boiling okay i'm gonna be over here working with peas Spaghetti. Ow, hot. 
I lost my thing with them. Okay. These, I don't like these candy canes. Mash, I mean not mash, potato blocks or cubes, whatever you want to call them. Ham. These are not very good stirring tools. Sauce. Best part. I love cream sauce. And you give it a good stir without mushing everything. And you've got your pasta. We've got our pasta. It's not very pretty looking, but it still tastes good. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If so, please like and subscribe. If you want to see more cooking videos, let me know in the comments below. Bye.